all right all right everybody I want to welcome you all to another insane 2 a.m. workout session so in this session we're going to be training back shoulders and a little bit of bicep uh, so to I gotta say this been, this week has been so damn productive um, when it comes to working out and stuff because I've been putting a lot of work in this week and I've had such a great week uh, this week and as you can see I'm starting off with some rows here and then uh, before that for you know for warm-up we did some pull-ups unfortunately I couldn't film it it was impossible because uh, you know as you guys know it's 2 a.m. in the place uh, you know the bar said it is like uh, dark and uh, it was just impossible for me to film it uh, too so it was just a warm-up uh, we did some pull-ups and then moved on to the some rows uh, did some rows and then here I'm doing uh, this uh, uh, dumbbell row and then what you want to do is just grab your you know a bench or something find it to lean over and then uh, You know pick a dumbbell not really heavy uh, That one that you can really use and then pull the uh, Pull the weight upward like as you stretch back your back and then uh, To really maximize that you know tension there. So guys never lost yeah. focus on tension and never uh, lost the tension. I'm, gonna, I'm doing another, uh, you could say, bar, uh, barbell row. Here, you cannot really go heavy on this exercise. You want to find some, you know, uh, balanced weights, like the like one that you can, like, handle it, and then uh, do for, like, 12 to 15 reps. And here is, don't focus on the stretch part because you don't really have a full range of motion. And try to, you know, stick to that, you know, squeezing the back and as hard as you can to get the, some blood in there and then afterward we're gonna do some uh, insane uh, stretching movement that's gonna you know uh, stretch out the whole back and you're gonna gain a lot of muscle doing it so yeah here I'm doing another arm and uh, what you want to do is stand on a bar pick a weight you can as I said can handle that and then yeah do it for uh, 15 reps for four sets and that will be it and then we're moving on to, of course, right now the real workout starts. I believe a stretching uh, exercise is the best exercise out there to, you know, get the gains. See, when you squeeze a muscle, start off with some exercises that, you know, uh, squeeze and, uh, you know, get put some blood into your muscle and then stretch it, stretch it out, like doing some rows and stuff. So, like, pull over. Right now I'm doing here a dumbbell pull over. What you want to do is grab the dumbbell with the, the the palm of your hand with your you know fingernail and then push it don't grab it with your you know thumbs because you know that way you can you know activate the ch uh, chest rather than you know your lats so activate the lats and then uh, grab wider and go as far down as you can and guys be careful not to go too heavy on this one because you might hurt your you know uh, your uh, there's a lot of injury you can occur like you're a lot of joints movement here and then it is quite dangerous so uh, If you're doing a lightweight and then as far as it's, it goes like, it's fine for you. Okay, so don't worry about that So yeah, and then we moved on like that was a finisher for back and then and then just right after that we attack the you know shoulders and here I am doing a um, bend over dumbbell raise for redas and then it really Activate that rear dash because rear dash is guys are real you guys know it's just real small muscle So what you know try to find a way to you know isolate it? Uh, you know you can do it like bending over something or if you have a bench at home You could use that that could be a good use and then we combine that superset that with this face pull So guys face pulls are basically a great way of isolating isolating that rear dash and uh, your traps here I'm focusing on real dust, not traps. So try to really isolate it, like pull the weights as high up as you can, and then elbows outward. Remember, guys, elbows always outward. So yeah, so that was it. And then we moved on to, of course, the famous. You know, no, no, no one can like ignore this workout. This exercise is the all-time favorite exercise of mine, and I'm sure a lot more, a lot other others. So this is a, uh, of course. Barbell curls, you know it. Yeah, so this is a great workout. I've been doing it for a long time and I gotta say 
I am loving it and it is the best workout out there for bicep. If you're looking for any anything that isolate that damage to gain your muscle, I would tell you go 100% start doing some barbell curl. Not try to not go too heavy on this because you know uh, you should uh, use a lot of your shoulder in traps. Try to go slightly a little light on this because you don't want to go too heavy. And uh, if you even go heavy, you know. Uh, you're gonna do cheats and then uh, you won't be able to lift uh, the weight properly and then right after that we moved on to uh, dumbbell curl and then uh, here you know you can see like i'm getting a twist at the top and that is to gain that you know peak contraction that's really needed in this exercise so yeah these two exercises i think is enough after a back workout because you know Biceps are you no know, secondary muscle to you know your back as uh, your tricep is to your chest. So as you're doing you know uh, rows and all that back workout, you are really isolating a lot more of your biceps. So two exercises should be enough you know uh, for your biceps to really exhaust them and wear them out. So guys, that was the work for today and I really hope you guys learned something and gained something from this. And I just want to thank you all for supporting and watching my videos. It just means really a lot. And uh, I will definitely see you guys in my next.